Hello, I am Dr. Ajay Naik, Cardiologist and Cardiac Electrophysiologist at Sims Hospital, Ahmedabad. Today we are going to talk about subcutaneous defibrillator therapy. Implantable cardioverter defibrillator is a very effective therapy and it's class 1 indication for primary and secondary prevention for sudden cardiac arrest. Transvenous ICD is being implanted for the last 25 to 30 years and it is extremely effective. It converts more than 98% of lethal ventricular arrhythmias and saves the patient's life. So why do we need to make a good thing better? The problem with transvenous ICD is the components of defibrillator goes through the venous system of the heart. So we have leads which are implanted through the subclavian vein that go through the sub superior vena cava to the atria and ventricles. And there are problems associated with the vascular access over a period of time. Up to 10 to 15 percent of patients will have some lead related or vascular related complications within the first six months of implantation. These problems may be lead related issues, infection, cardiac perforation or pneumothorax. The subcutaneous defibrillator system eliminates the majority of the complications associated with the transvenous ICD. The device is totally extravascular. It is implanted in the subcutaneous region. The lead uh, of the defibrillator is implanted in the subcute by local anesthesia and it sits parastonally. The device is in the infraaxillary region in the subcutaneous tissue or the submuscular tissue. What is special about subcutaneous defibrillator? One thing would be low risk of complications, less chances of electrode failure, infection, endocarditis or cardiac or lung injury, high conversion efficacy, more than 98% conversion of ventricular arrhythmias. The advantage of the system is that there is effective defibrillation without any transvenous leads. In fact, it can be called as untouched therapy of the heart and this probably represents the second generation of defibrillation therapy as we know it. So who needs subcutaneous defibrillator therapy? The majority of ICD indicated patients may be eligible for subcutaneous ICD. They don't require bradycardia pacing and they don't need anti-tachy pacing therapy for ventricular arrhythmias. Those with no venous access, whether it's occluded vascular access or with congenital heart disease with no vascular access, high risk complications following transvenous ICD, uh, patients with uh, dialysis, pediatric population, immunocompromised patients, patients with certain diseases like channelopathies, long QT syndrome, Rogada or hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, patients with previous device infections or lead failures and previous history of endocarditis. Patients who have indications for primary prevention against sudden cardiac arrest. So these may be young patients who are going to live long and over a period of time uh, may lose the vascular access due to successive procedures with the transvenous uh, leads. So in fact subcutaneous defibrillator therapy may uh, imply a paradigm shift and in future it could possibly become uh, the primary way we treat these patients in case they don't need CRT therapy for heart failure and there is no indication for Brady pace. By default, this may be the choice of therapy in certain patients. Thank you. This is Dr. Ajay Nai, Cardiac Electrophysiologist at Ahmedabad.